How do you transition from a nine to five job to a house cleaning company? That's a great question and we're gonna talk about that today. Hi there, I'm Angela Brown and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question and I get to help you find an answer. Now today's show is brought to us by Savvy Cleaner. Did you know that Savvy Cleaner produces this Ask a House Cleaner show? They're bringing you all of these free tips so that you have free information to start your house cleaning business. Now, they do have advanced training that goes into a lot of details and a lot of specifics. There are a lot of word tracks and scripts and a bunch of other things to help you grow your business as your business expands. But the reason this show is created for you for free is because a lot of people starting out do not have the resources to invest in a training program. So these are your free tips to get you started. All right, on to today's show, which is from a house cleaner who has this question. Hi, Angela. I was wondering, I don't know where you are situated, but I uh, am in, situated in the Lampopo area. Uh, I do have a full-time job, but I'm working shifts, and I'm thinking of um, resigning to start my own business and so on. Of course, I don't have enough money, and I was thinking of Maybe I should start just with one person to help me uh, since I also have a small car. I won't have to replace it at a later stage if I expand my business. But is it uh, better to start in a, in a city? Also, then again, the money is a, a problem because I have to relocate, I have to re move and have to pay a, um, a deposit and to rent upfront and so on. Can uh, you advice, please? All right, that's a series of good questions. And how do you transition, I'm gonna say a full-time job, to a nine to five? We're gonna to refer to it as a nine to five. That's your day job over to a house cleaning company. All right, if you have a regular job, you probably have some kind of benefits. So yay, because you don't have those benefits as a house cleaner. So you probably have some kind of an insurance, some kind of an employee perks program or a benefits program. You probably have some kind of paid vacation or you have paid days off or you have sick leave, or some of those things. As you transition over into your own house cleaning company, you don't have any of those things. There is no safety net. And so you're gonna to have to start thinking about things like, well, my insurance is covered, but now I'm gonna to need to buy my own insurance, health insurance, and life insurance and whatever. I'm gonna to have to take care of that on my own. So start thinking in your head, how much money do I need to make in order to pay for that? Then you have to think of the other things. If I take a two week vacation like I always have, then how am I gonna pay for that? Because that's two weeks out of my schedule that I won't get paid for. When you're on the nine to five job, it's paid. So you go away on a trip, you come back, you still have money to pay your bills. In house cleaning, it's not that way. People do not pay you if you do not show up. So you have to start thinking about that as well. Am I still going to be able to take vacations? And if I am, how am I gonna save for that? Now, if you're just starting out and you don't have a lot of money, my recommendation to you is utilize all of the free resources that are available to you. We live in the information age. Everything you could possibly ever want to know is available to you already. It's just where are you searching and how are you finding the information? And do you have the time to sift through and sort through and find the best stuff that will help you grow from here to here? All right, now a lot of people will get started in the house cleaning business and they do exactly like you're doing. They transition from a full-time job to a part-time job. And the part-time job is the house cleaning in the beginning. So they're working the full-time job and they pick up an account. And so maybe one day after work, they go and they clean a house after they get off their job. And they have to kind of get used to that because your body is used to coming home at a certain time and you kick off your shoes and you grab some food, you sit in front of the TV and you relax a little bit. Actually, I don't know anybody that does that, but it sounded cool, so I thought I'd say it. <laughs> All right, so now you're gonna add house cleaning at the end of that day. How do you do that? So you have to kind of like mentally psych yourself up for it and go, today is the cleaning day. And then the day before, you've gotta prep your equipment and make sure you have all your cleaning supplies and you've printed out a worksheet and you've gotta do all the things that are gonna be required for this big job and it's one house. And then once you get comfortable with that house and you start created, you starting to create a system and you're getting in the groove, then you might add a second house. And I would say break it apart by a couple of days so that you have a day to recover in between because you still have the full-time job. So you have to do the full-time job. Then at the end of that, you have a house cleaning. 
Give yourself a day of a break in between and then go do it again, okay? Don't just do it all boom, boom, boom because working every day until from sunup till sundown is only gonna make you crazy and tired. And then you're not gonna be good at either of your jobs. So give yourself a little bit of a window. Once you get up to speed and you start getting in the groove and you get comfortable doing it, then you can add on a third day. Now there are seven days in a week. So you might decide that you only wanna do the house cleaning on Sunday, Saturday, and Sunday. So you work Monday through Friday, you're nine to five. And then on Saturday, Sunday, in the morning or in the afternoon, you pick up a couple of houses. That way you're still working seven days a week, but you get to still relax in the evening and kick up your shoes and eat the popcorn and the things that I mentioned, right? So there are ways of transitioning. But now I will tell you, you might decide you only ever want house cleaning as a part-time job. I know a lot of house cleaners that have multiple businesses. House cleaning is only one of them. And they still have the regular job that pays them all the benefits because the house cleaning does not. And then there are house cleaners that went full time. They started getting really busy. They started making more money on the part time job than they were on the full time job. And they started transitioning over. In order to do that, then you have to start making deals with your boss. Instead of taking my two weeks vacation, can I break it up in two days? And then they say, yeah, I'll break it up into days. So you take your 14 days of vacation, but you may take it every Thursday for the next 14 weeks. And that allows you to pick up Thursday as a cleaning day. And then you start booking one and two and three houses on that Thursday, which would be your work day. And now you know, you know, you're not coming back on Thursday. So when you come back after being gone on Thursday, you've been gone for 14 days, 14 Thursdays in a row. They're used to you not being there. So then you come back to your boss and you say, hey boss, is there any chance that I could make up the time and work from home? I got something else I'm doing now on Thursdays. I would love the opportunity to make up the time and the work from here in the evenings or on the weekend. Is that possible so that I can still have Thursdays off? You'd be surprised at how many people actually work from home that have a nine to five job. And your boss might say, as long as you get the work done, I don't care when you do it, right? They're happy that you're still there. So work something out where you can transition and then get to a point where you might decide, I can only work three days a week. Hey boss, I've been working out of the house on Thursdays for the last two months, working really well. What do you, what do you feel about me taking Friday off and working from home Thursday, Friday? And you might say, that's fine. You've been doing a great job. You're keeping all the work up. Sure, that's fine. And now you have another whole day you can fill up on your calendar of house cleaning. And there are people that have done this very successfully till they transition from one into the other. Now, it goes the other way. Once they become enormously successful at house cleaning, they start picking up other businesses. They say, well, if I can do house cleaning, I could add a professional organizing leg to my business. And then they start hiring a team of professional organizers that marry with the same clients. And then they say, well, you know, I have professional organizers and house cleaners to do the same property. Let's send in some landscapers. And they buy a landscaping business and a couple of trucks and now they've got cleaning and how, uh, landscaping, and they have professional organizing. And along with the professional organizing, they say, hey, we're running into a lot of hoarders. So then they do junk and hoarding removal, and they have all these different elements of their business. And so it's possible that you may just transition from one to the next. The secret is this. Make sure that whatever you do, that you're focused on one thing at a time. So if you are doing your nine to five job, only do your nine to five when you're doing your nine to five. When you cut that off at a certain window of the day and you transition and you go over to being a house cleaner, only be a house cleaner. Don't focus on stuff from the other job and don't focus on stuff from home. Focus on that one job. There are multiple people that are able to do lots of things, but they still have to compartmentalize so that when you are a house cleaner, you are a hundred percent in your mind, a house cleaner. Even if, even if, and here's the secret, even if it is only one house that you're cleaning on Tuesday afternoon, if you only have one house that you clean, when you show up to the customer's house, be in your uniform, have your cleaning supplies spectacular, and be 100% there as a house cleaner. This is not a hobby. This is not something you're just doing on the side. This is a business, even if it's only one job. And if you treat it like a business, even for one job, that job will pay you like a business. And what happens then is you get recommendations because you're consistent, because your work is good, because you're there 100%, even if you have other things going on in the peripheral of your life. 
if you show up and you give it 100% effort while you are there, it's going to treat you and pay you back like a business. And then it doesn't matter if you have a day job or if you have an evening job or if you have another company that you own. Lots of people have diversified and they don't have all their eggs in one basket. The secret is to focus on one thing at a time. Only focus on one thing at a time. All right, so I hope that helps you a little bit. There is a transition phase. It's awkward. It's like a gawky teenager, but I think you can get through it. If you found this tip helpful, please share it with a friend, pass it on, post it on Facebook, send a link to somebody, and until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it. Thank you.